Hello, Red Brick Productions here with another LEGO review. Today, I have the LEGO Minecraft The Bee Farm set. The set number is 21165. It has 238 pieces, two figures, and a lot of mobs. So without further ado, let's take a look at this set. So here is the set without the figures, and we'll also take a closer look at the bees later on. So for this build, you can obviously see there is a play feature right here where if you twist this, the bees move around. It's basically supposed to be a bee swarm and they just kind of spin around on this little axle right there. It's kind of a cool boy feature. It's not the greatest. I do like getting some of these clear pieces right here. Those are cool. But yeah, I mean, it looks pretty cool with the bees and stuff, but it's pretty obvious. Um, over on this side, we have a birch tree, which does use the translucent brick. Um, you got some flowers right there. And then over here, you have some more flowers and there's some water. There's also another clear brick here for the bee to fly over the water. You got some crops right here because the if you do put a beehive over here, some flowers over here, the bees will actually pollinate the crops and make them grow faster. You have a little campfire because those uh, are used for, I don't really know too much about how to uh, farm bees and stuff, but I know these need to be used as for something. So this is a campfire, um, basically. It's just one of those fire pieces, but with a brick right there. So yeah, that's cool, I guess. Um, you got some of these bee nests. I don't know what these are exactly called, but yeah. You also get these new printed pieces. They're basically honeycomb pieces right here. Pretty cool. You get two of those in the set. You also get this massive beehive right here, which is on the tree and it's connected. And there's a little bee in there, actually. And yeah, there's a little flower underneath there, too. I'm um, just going to put that back on. You can see there's a little flower under there. There's another flower right here. And then there's a larger oak tree, which actually, let me just show you. If you take this off, there's a little bee in there. So yeah, you have a bee hidden in the tree, which is... I guess kind of cool but yeah I mean overall this is pretty cool and I like how they uh experiment with some like layers to the world you have flat a block taller and then like two blocks and a few plates taller right there so I don't know I just thought that was cool and yeah overall this is just kind of cool I mean this is not the greatest feature because it sticks out so much it would have been better if they maybe put it back here or something oh sorry you can't even see that back here you can easily modify it to do that though I might do that so yeah we'll see but yeah overall it's a cool little set and yeah now let's take a look at the figures now here's something cool about this set this is the beekeeper minifigure so not only is this figure exclusive with this bee printing but also they have the first appearance of elytra which have or elytra whatever you want to call it but these are so cool and they just are basically studs with on the back so you can articulate them however you want but that's so cool. We finally have like Elytra in in Lego Minecraft and they look awesome. Oh shoot, yeah, they kind of break off a bit, but look at that. Look at that, that's so cool. Now you can actually have your figures fly around. They also have a gold shovel there. So yeah, overall, this is actually kind of a cool figure. I like the printing on the face and torso. Now let's show you the back torso. That's the back torso printing. So the next character is just a villager. Honestly, again, I don't really do too much with bees in Minecraft. I might try to get into bee farming and stuff. So I don't know if you need villagers, but hey, it's pretty cool. They also have the little yellow right there, which means that they're early in trading. I thought that was kind of cool. And honestly, the printing on this is cool. And it's good to get a little villager in this set. So hey, I'm not complaining that they included a villager. It just makes the set even better. But now let's take a look at the next. The next figure is a baby sheep. I mean, how can you complain about a baby sheep? It's the same build that we've gotten before. It's a, it's a baby sheep. What more can you ask for? Now, these are obviously the star of the set. They're the bees. So you get four of these and four of these. So yeah, you get four regular bees and four angry bees. And those are actually just printed tiles. So they're just one by one tiles. Um, they have some clear bricks on the top of the wings. And then just a bunch of uh, plates built up on top of each other to give them the colors. And honestly, these look really good. I actually really liked how these turned out. Now, you might think they're oversized, but in Minecraft... Bees are massive. They're huge. I mean, they're really crazy how big they are in the game. But, like, these are really well built. And I like that you get a lot of them in the set and not just, like, two. You get eight bees. So, that's awesome. But let's take a look at the packaging and then my final verdict. So, for the box, it just shows the set all built up. And there's one of the massive bees there, which is pretty cool. Um, on the back of the box, it just shows that you have the little bee swarm. 
that the bees can come out of the trees that the elytra works. I know I'm really kind of pushing it here. And then just the set all built up really, but now let's take a look at the instructions. For the instructions, they tell you how to build the set. And then at the end, um, they have uh, where you place the bees, the set all built up basically. A short little ad showing some of these sets. Basically, I have these three sets. I've done a review of that one. Just finished doing a review of this one. I don't know if I've uploaded it at the time, but Take a look out for that one. Um, and then you got the peace count and then the win. But that's it for this set. Now let's take a look, or the instructions. Now let's take a look at the leftover. So for the spares, there aren't much, just a lot of flower pieces, but these are the bee prints. They're just one by one tiles and you have one for each of the bee faces. So that's pretty awesome. But now let's take a look at my final verdict. So for my final verdict, this is a fantastic set, I think, because not only do you get a lot of these little bee characters, you get eight of them. Um, but you get four of the regular ones, four of the angry ones, which is awesome. So you don't just get like a single bee in the set. You also get a villager, which is always nice to get. A little baby sheep hidden behind the villager. And of course, a new Minecraft skin and a Litra or a Lytra, whatever you want to call it. They're awesome. This is great. You also get some cool honeycomb prints right there. You have this cool little play feature with the bee hidden in there, which is awesome. You got all the necessary things for bee farming. And you get this unnecessary but fun play feature where you just spin around the bees in an angry swarm. But honestly, this is great. This is a great set. And for $20, it's really good, I think. I think you get a, your value here. But what's even better is I just looked at Walmart. It's $16. I mean, if you're a Minecraft and a Lego fan... Get this set. I mean, it's great. You get a lot of cool stuff. So, yeah, I definitely give this an A+. Plus, and that's really it for my this review. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And I'll got, see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Bye.